we have a terrible, terrible problem. It's not the PLO, it's the Jews. Jews who weep for people who, if they could, would wipe us out in a slow holocaust, not the fast one of gas chambers, but the slow one of knives and hatchets that they use against each other. I'm always impressed when I listen to such men of, men of peace and experts on the Middle East as Woody Allen. <laughs> Speaking about how ashamed he used to be of a Jew. Well, if he knew how ashamed Jews were of him. They speak about how Jews and Arabs have to coexist. Coexistence between Jews and Arabs, of course, certainly. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for coexistence between Arabs and Arabs in Beirut. I tell you, I am so deeply moved. By the way, Arabs live with each other in, uh, in Lebanon. It is a, a moving example of brotherhood. <laughs> Sunni Muslims and Shiites, Druze and Christians and Amal, Hezbollah, everybody kills everybody else. But of course, we will live with them because we have so much in common. <laughs> Foolish people, insane people live with them. When I listen to Peace Now or Peace Instantly or Peace in 12 Seconds, if only Israel will, will compromise, of course, if only Israel would compromise. Of course, that's the absolute of peace. Israel is stubborn, of course. The occupied lands of 1967, that's the problem, of course. Oh, how wonderful it must have been in 1966. In 1929, the Arabs massacred in one day 67 Jews. Chabron, 1929. I, I never knew what was bothering the Arabs in 1929. Obviously, obviously something bothered them. Actually. One doesn't just get up and kill 67 Jews. What was bothering them? And I never knew until I studied peace now. They explained it to me. Clearly what was bothering the Arabs in 1929 with, with, with the occupied lands in 1967. Of course I Oh, to be as, as clever as peace now and Woody Allen and Shimon Peres and all the parasites. <laughs> Between 1936 and 1938, there was an intifada in the Holy Land. 510 Jewish men, women, and children died and were slaughtered. It was in 1937. I never knew. Now I know. Obviously, the occupied lands of 1967. And in 1947, when the UN proposed a partition plan, which would have created two states, a Jewish state and an Arab state, far, far larger than just the West Bank and, and Gaza. For some reason, they said no. They said, not only did they say no, they went to war. 6,000 Jews died in that war. 1% of all the Jews who were, who, were, who were living in the land at that time. What was the problem in 1947? The occupied lands in 1967. 